conservative new media viewers, L.A. Lakers fans around the world, and Jeremy Lin fans around the world. What is up? It's me, PFE, Paul F. Villarreal, the NBA expert. We're here to discuss in this short video the Lakers' 127-104 to loss tonight in, I believe, Oakland, California, yes, to the Golden State Warriors. Stay tuned for the long video. That will be coming up. If you want to see highlights of this game, look in the video description below the video player, and we'll put information there as soon as we can. Okay, this game was very competitive for about three and a half quarters. And then the Lakers just ran out of gas. They ran out of steam because they were, of course, playing on a back-to-back. -back. They played last night against the, uh, against the Clippers in Los Angeles. And then the Warriors just poured it on. They outscored the Lakers by 16 points in the fourth quarter. So this game was much better than what it looks like. It wasn't a blowout until the very end. Now, for Jeremy, he had a tough outing. Zero for six from the field and five turnovers. Finished with six points, four rebounds, and six assists. However, this isn't as bad as it looks. And I'll talk more about that in the long video in terms of Jeremy himself. Kobe had a nice night, 28 points, six rebounds, one assist. He had an incredible third quarter when he scored 19 points, and he was kind of going back and forth against Klay Thompson. Jordan Hill, 23 points. Wesley Johnson, 15 points. Ed Davis, 13 points, six rebounds off the bench. For the Warriors, they were led by the Splash Brothers. Klay Thompson, 41 points, Stephen Curry, 31 points. So those two combined for 72 points, and it was definitely enough to carry the dubs to the victory. I'm, as a Warriors, excuse me, as a Lakers fan and as a Lynn fan, I'm really not that down about this loss. The Warriors are probably a top five team in the NBA. Certainly in the top seven, in my opinion. Not only are they that good, they're very good defensively. And so they made the Lakers look ordinary, although the Lakers, for a substantial part of this game, were shooting over 50%. The Lakers came out, they had a tremendous amount of energy. You know, the confidence that they gained playing well against the Clippers carried over into this game. They played well. They played hard. They played together. It's just the Warriors can spread you out and just demoralize you. We saw this in the preseason in the two games that the teams played, and it kicked in late in the fourth quarter, and that's what happened here. From a Lakers perspective, though, you can't be too upset. This was an expected loss, but the team hung together and played smart for the majority of this game. A loss is a loss. doesn't really matter by how much you lose. So that is it for this short video. I will begin on the long video shortly, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching Conservative New Media. Thumbs up, thumbs down, your comments below. What did you see tonight? If you're a Jeremy Lin fan, don't be all shaken up because the doubters and haters will be out. We'll put our information for our Twitter accounts and our Facebook group in the video description so you can check that out as well. Again, I am PFE Paul F. Villarreal, the NBA expert. Once again, thanks for watching Conservative New Media. We strive to be the number one Jeremy Lin YouTube fan channel. 1.13 a.m. here on Sunday, November 2nd. 2014 in the United States. Also remember to turn your clocks back tonight if you live in the United States. That means it is 1.13 p.m. currently in Taipei, Taiwan on Sunday, November 2nd. Take care. We'll talk to you soon. See you in the long video.